How y'all are guys, this is Joey. We're gonna talk about the T20 World Cup specifically as it pertains to America, specifically as it pertains to New York or Nassau County. This is the home of Eisenhower Park, which will host some of the most important games, including India versus Pakistan. It's gonna be huge, okay? So we gotta follow this, make sure that this stadium is gonna be up and ready to host these important games. Let's talk about it. So this is Eisenhower Park. Um, this is what it looks like now. It's just a public park. They're gonna convert it into a cricket stadium. And you can see here, India plays three out of their four group stage matches in New York, in Nassau County. So you have India versus Ireland on uh, 5th of June. The 9th of June, it's a huge one against India versus Pakistan. And then you have United States versus India. Ooh, can't wait for that one. And then no worries on the 15th of June because that's in Central Broward Regional Park Stadium in Lauder Hill, Florida. That is, a, that is the best stadium in the United States, probably best stadium in North America. All our tests, uh, matches, or all our ODIs uh, take place in this stadium from what I understand, so. No worries for that one. But the other three, we got to worry about it. So funny to note, um, Eisenhower, this park is named after President Eisenhower, who was president in the 1950s. And he's the only American president to watch a test match live. And I think Joe Biden tried to attend a test match, but he fell asleep during the test match. He's with uh, Narendra Modi here. He fell asleep, so I guess that doesn't count. But uh, anyway, this is what... Uh, the stadium will look like that looks freaking awesome look at that that looks huge it looks huge and um i can't wait so this is just like an artist concept of what the stadium would look like with the modular stadium obviously these parts right here would uh, be able to be taken out and you would just kind of have like the core here maybe some of the stands maybe right here so the stadium would, would stay, but a lot of the stands, so it'd be maybe a 5,000 seat stadium. And that's really all you need, five to 10,000 people uh, watching games in maybe major league or minor league cricket. It's from an organization called Populous. Um, so they're gonna get this up and ready really fast. And we don't have much time to do this. This is what the stadium looks now, and I'm very sorry. Someone on Twitter shared this, and he wanted credit because he said he drove like two hours to get these pictures. I forget where I got them from. I'm so sorry, but I'll try to find this guy and give him credit later. But the stadium looks like absolute garbage. It just looks like a park. And we just had a winter snowstorm, so it looks probably even worse now. But on these pictures, someone wrote, Michael Conway wrote, I assume it's a drop pitch. Where's that being prepared? I don't know what that means. Can someone please explain that in the comments, what a drop pitch means? I could look it up and I probably will look it up, but I just wanna see if someone can explain that too, um, learning that way. Um, Yitzi Sefir says, the wicket, a drop in square similar to those used in Adelaide Oval and Eden Park is currently being curated in Florida. It will be transported to New York in early May. Um, what does that mean? I don't know. I'm having an American moment here. I have no idea what that means. And obviously that shows that I have a lot to learn about cricket because I really need to know what that means if I'm gonna keep with this channel. But um, yeah, I need to know what that means. Help me out. So some important information. ICC has yet to finally say, they spelled that wrong, it should be a Z. Um, let me change that real quick. Okay, it says ICC yet to finalize match timings for T20 World Cup in 2024. Um, I'm not sure if these tournaments have the timings down, so, you know, a couple months out, but, you know, whatever. I'd like to know the timings. I'd like to have tickets. That's what I want more than anything, but I guess you can't have tickets if you don't have timings, right? Um, ICC confirms New York's Eisenhower Park will not host international games for T20 World Cup. Mm -hmm. Battle, the important thing to know is that we will have warm-up games in the stadium. So it's not like it's going to be um, totally like, you know, brand new for the first game that India plays. Or I think it's, uh, uh, actually, let me look that up real quick. 
Um, what's the first game played in New York? Ireland versus India, June 5th. Is that the first game? Uh, no, it's Sri Lanka versus South Africa, the 3rd of June. Um, June 3rd. So that will be the first game played in the stadium. So, but there will also be warm up matches in this stadium. So, nothing to worry about here. I don't think they put the warm up games yet, but those will happen. So, not to worry. But before then, we're not going to have any. And I think someone asked, you know, is you know, are the United States having like warm up matches or any bilateral series? No, we are not, from what I understand. It says Eisenhower Park uh, in New York will not be hosting any international matches before T20 World Cup in June as the ground will be ready only by the end of May. Oh my God. Wait, the ground will only be ready by the end of May? Like what specific date? Because the, the, the first game is on June 3rd. And if we're doing warm up games, oh dear. Oh dear. Um, yeah, I don't know what to think about that. This is kind of making me a little nervous because this could make us look really bad, especially with India, Pakistan. We do not want to mess that up. It says Eisenhower Park, which is located in Nassau County, which is Long Island because it's that really long, skinny island. It's about 25 miles east of New York City. Um, it's also going to be hosted in Grand Prairie, Texas and Lauder Hill, Florida. But you guys already know that because you watch all my videos and follow my channel religiously, right? Okay, no. Um, such a pros prospect is not making the ICC anxious at all, though. Chris Tetley, ICC head of events, said that the testing phase scheduled to start in the week of May 13th will include warm-up matches. We'll provide organizers, orga, they spelled it wrong again, it needs to be a Z, better understanding of the venue before the World Cup matches start. So maybe it will be done May 13th. That will give us enough time. I'm hoping. So this is where Eisenhower, Eisenhower Park will be located, uh, Long Island. You see that really Long Island. It's literally a Long Island. New York is here, okay? This is New Jersey. Um, this is New Jersey right over here. And that is, uh, what is that called? Uh, Connecticut. Connecticut. So you have Connecticut, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and New York here. So 25 miles away from New York. And if you went from like Brooklyn to Eisenhower Park, it'd take you about 40 minutes, just in case you have anyone who lives in New York. I don't live in New York. I live in Washington, DC. It's gonna take me about four and a half hours to get there, which I am very, very thankful for um, because this is the closest stadium and I really hope I can get tickets. It says, uh, currently the outfield existing cricket venue is bumpy. It's bumpy. I don't know how to feel about bumpy. I don't like that, Bumpy. It says a set of drop-in pitches are currently being prepared in Florida by Adelaide Oval Turf Solutions, which is headed by Damien Hugh, the head grounds person at Adelaide Oval. What does that mean? I need to know. Please help me. But um, they're working with uh, companies that have worked for the New York Yankees, New York Mets, Inter Miami, Inter Miami, CF. Um, cool. Um, and then also Major League Cricket is using, is looking into what this tournament does, but because we're going to Major League Cricket, not me, but uh, Major League Cricket is going to evaluate whether it could utilize the modular stadia at the three USA venues for the second season, which is starting July 4th, Independence Day. Uh, Major League Cricket is actually very interested in the opportunity that this would afford them to play some of the matches of their second season. So they're evaluating at the moment whether it will work for them. It's a live conversation at the moment, but in theory, yes, it gets all broken down. I don't know why I said that in a British accent, but it just felt good. It felt fun, okay? Sue me. Um, Tetley said that the key legacy for the World Cup will leave for the local cricket community in New York, an international outfield alongside a well-equipped Central Square Sands without the drop-in pitches. I don't know what that means. Okay, uh, probably something really simple that I'm just not picking up on, but I hope this stadium can be used for ODIs in the future. I hope it becomes a Major League Cricket Stadium. 
I hope local clubs use the crap out of the stadium. Um, it's really important that we set up a hub in New York, set up a hub in Florida, set up a hub in Texas, Morrisville, North Carolina, all of them. It says, what kind of pitch can we expect? In recent meetings between India and Pakistan, the pitches have played a crucial part. The likes of Shaheen Shah Afridi have troubled the Indian batters where there is help on offer. And the Indian batters have attacked him where there's no help and got the team off to quick starts. In New York, the wicket will be a drop in one. Usually drop in wickets tend to be more in favor of batting. Adelaide Oval in Australia and Eden Park in New Zealand are famous grounds uh, where drop-in wickets are used. According to ICC, the pitch is being curated in Florida. Cool. It says cricket's first pop-up stadium, T20 World Cup in three months. And so far, they're talking about the, st the fans coming to this match because it's a 34,000 capacity stadium. We're going to have a ton of Desi... Uh, uh, community there you know heritage that share that heritage there um it's going to be you know overwhelmingly from that community and that's okay you know that they're gonna like i said the desi community is going to be the spark and then it's going to spread the fire is going to spread out to the rest of america no worries my friends no worries this is so far icc's most ambitious project to try to tap into the usa's lucrative sports market and the indian diaspora Diaspora is like the community that left India and is living in the United States now. Our global rights strategy speaks about the significance of the United States. It's our third largest market behind India and the United Kingdom. We have identified 30 million cricket fans. Wow, 30 million cricket fans. That's huge. That's huge. And that's a third largest market? Like, dude, that's, that is crazy very interesting imagine if we keep building it and building it united states will absolutely be able to compete with india in terms of market share and if you look at this is the asian indian community in the united states the darker the brown the more populated they are you see big populations in washington dc where i live in new york florida nothing here no one wants to live up here it's so cold that's by canada Ugh. it's so so freezing there um you hit some in California. Wow, Alaska. It's wow. Okay. That's like Canada Junior over there. Why would anyone want to live in that freezing uh, hell hole? Um, but where I live, there's a Patel Brothers uh, grocery store. You're seeing a lot of this. I love Patel grocery stores because uh, you can get vegetarian food. My daughter's a vegetarian. And then you could go to Chopathi, which is, has some excellent samosas. They burn. Oh, they're so spicy and good. That is Southern Indian food. It is fire, straight fire. If you're in America, go there. Just go there. Just trust me. But you're seeing a lot of places like this pop up in the United States uh, showing, you know, uh, that a lot of Indian immigrants are coming here. And that's that's every, everybody, dude. If you go to the United States, there's immigrant populations all throughout Washington, D.C. Almost nobody is like a native, okay? And... Uh, even if you're from the United States, like you're from another part and you move to Washington, D.C., the capital. So that's totally fine. Um, I forgot why I put this here, um, but the outfield is be being delivered by Land Tech Group that built for New York Yankees, like I said, and blah, 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 all that other stuff. And it said the grandstands used in Las Vegas F1 Grand Prix are being repurposed. So it's been done for other sports. Uh, before let's see what people on reddit have to say man we're gonna need to build the stadium as fast as japan can fill a sinkhole Ooh. it sounds like a bit like they can it sounds mental that they can build that in three months but it's basically just whacking up a load of scaffolding i suppose yeah i'm watching from home i'm not going all the way to long island just to collapse under a scaffolding i could do that right here in midtown sarcasm um, yeah, and this guy says Oman renovated and upgraded their Al, Al Emirat Cricket Stadium within like three months for the 2021 ICC T20 World Cup when Oman was announced suddenly as one of the alternate options. So, yeah, let's look at that up. 2021 World Cup, uh, T20 World Cup. I'm, I really like that they're every other year. I really like that, but Oman hosted it. Let's see. Oman. Yeah. So there was, uh, but that's only 3,000 capacity, capacity of 3,000 people. So 
Muscat. It sounds funny. Oman Cricket Academy. So they set this up, um, built it for the T20 World Cup uh, in about three months. So cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, so they're building it from scratch. It's just a public park right now. Yeah, and it looks like crap. And it's bumpy. I guess people say it's bumpy. <laughs> And last bit of news, and I know we talked about the United States U19 uh, cricket team being uniquely American, but we do have people not born in the United States playing for the United States here, and I think that's totally fine. I'm all for it. It's uh, Unmukt Chand, who will most likely be the captain for the USA T20 team, and he grew up playing in India. And he says, since I've retired from India, my next goal was to always play against India, and I think this will be one of the most heartwarming events in the T20 World Cup because if Chan gets selected for the USA, which is very, very likely, um, he'd face some of the players that he captained for India A, including Jasper Bumrah and Shura, Shura Kumar Yadav. And he said, uh, we used to call him Jasper Gumra. <laughs> okay. He's one of my favorite bowlers. I love Jasper Bumrah. When I first saw the, the IPL in 2020, I saw his like delivery stance and I just thought it was so awesome. So Jasper Bumrah like, uh, it, it, you know, gets credit for getting this American into uh, cricket here. So, and finally, you know, we did have the U19 World Cup United States. I just want to update you because we have a couple games coming in a couple days. The 26th, we play Bangladesh and the 28th, we play India. Let's see, the 26th is Friday and the 28th is Sunday. So on Sunday, I will be doing a live stream for India, uh, United States game, but probably not for Bangladesh because it's got to work. But um, if our game against Ireland was very, very close. Ireland only won by four runs, if you look here, okay? They only won by four runs, so it was a very close game. Obviously, I know we got our butts kicked, but... You're never going to hear that from me. I'm always going to be biased towards the United States. But anyway, what do you guys think about that? Sorry, I don't have any camera because it is very dark. My wife took the camera. But let me know in the comments, what is that type of feel, the drop-in field? Tell me what you think about the World Cup. Tell me what you want me to make a video of next time. Like and subscribe. I love you all guys so much. Uh, thank you. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.